you are doing well. These are special classes to be conducted for the lockdown period. I will be teaching you SST. I have posted the SST schedule in your WhatsApp group. Please find it and be updated with it. Let me introduce to you the new SST book. This is the new SST book which we shall be reading this year. So, if you have any doubt, I will be teaching you the chapter. And if you will have any doubt, if you have any queries, questions regarding the chapter, please free, feel free to post your questions in the WhatsApp group. I will answer you. I have posted you the schedule. I will be answering my or answering to your questions during that period. And please listen attentively to the video. And because SST, SST chapter is the long one, we will be going thoroughly to the topic. Be attentive to the video and listen properly. In standard 3, we have learned that human being, the history of human being begins with early humans. Early human was, his life was little bit similar to that of animal. He used to go to gather fruits and roots, he used to dig out roots and then for shelter he used to hide in caves and take the shelter of trees and live his life like just like animals. After discovering, there was three important discoveries he made, three basic main important discoveries which he made. It was fire, it was farming, it was metal. After discovering these three things, he decided to change his life. Early human being, for prehistoric man, he decided to change his life. With the discovery of fire, he felt that he, he can get warmth in winter season and rainy season. He cooked food and he ate. And then farming gave him the food security. He no longer, no longer, he felt that he need to wander from place to place. And he could do farming and he can have a settled life. Early man made an invention, important invention. It was a wheel. With the help of wheel, he made a cart and he could transport his produce. Mostly the farm produce, agricultural produce from one place to another. And thus, now the early man decided to settle and to have a settled life. In this chapter, we will be reading about what is Indus Valley Civilization and how did it thrive and how did it finish? What made the decline or what made Indus Valley Civilization to come to an end? Mark the beginning of the history of humans. Though they had made important numerous discoveries that allowed to lead an easy life, the development did not stop there. Slowly, they learned how to live together and to have a social life, to live together in a society, to attach with other uh, persons of their similar, uh, similar persons and then uh, to have a settled life. They decided to have a settled life. They learned to choose a leader. Now every crowd is to be led by a leader. They also choose a, lead, cho chose a leader, made more discoveries and also started to build some monuments. They started to build because after the prehistoric man, now they start, the settled man wanted to make monuments. What sort of monuments did they make? They made granaries, they made grave paths, they made their houses, their dwelling places and monuments, what is, what is the meaning of monument? It is a structure, it is a building like a house or a building or some structure made of stone or bricks, just like that. In this chapter, we will read a little more about the journey of a prehistoric man to a settled life and then to an organized society and then how did he carry on by making kingdoms and so on. India has an extremely rich history which dates back to 5000 years but some historians and scientists are of the belief that it dates back to 8000 years. The history of our nation has been divided into 
three distinct periods or eras. Now, what is this periods or what is this? Era? What are the three distinctive periods? It is the ancient era, it is the medieval era, and it is the modern era. Now, what is this era? On what basis is this division done? As per the historians, the period is divided before the birth of Christ and after the birth of Christ. Before the birth of Christ, it is known as BCE, before the common era. And after the birth of Christ, it is known as CE or common era. Now let us see that why these periods are named so. Ancient era, ancient as the name suggests, old. Ancient era, it ranges from the prehistoric time, from when human beings uh, evolved from where human beings existed from that period to 700 years after the birth of Jesus Christ. 700 years C. Medieval era, medieval, middle, middle period is from 700 years after the birth of Jesus Christ to 1750 years after the birth of Jesus Christ. And the modern period is, the modern era is 1750 years after the birth of Jesus Christ till date it is going on. This is we are in modern era. From the time prehistory ended, ancient period or ancient era started. Archaeologists, archaeologists are the people who deal with the sources of history. They go, they excavate, they dig, they dig and find out what what was here. Was it it was it a temple or was it a house? These people they deal with the remains of historical, the remains of history. So, archaeologists, archaeologists and his, historians have found proof that around 2500 years before the birth of Christ, a grand civilization existed. Civilization means settlement. It is a place where many people have settled, existed. And this settlement existed on the banks of river Indus. And they named it as Indus Valley Civilization. It was one of the big and one of the ancient civilization the historians came across. And it was this, this Indus Valley civilization mostly comprised of people of Aryan race and comprised of the Greeks. We will be discussing this thing. Who were Aryans and who are Greeks and how did they come to the banks of river Indus? We will be describing later in the chapter. Now children, we know what was this Indus Valley civilization about. Taking, uh, talking about the Indus River. Indus Valley means the valley near Indus. Indus the region around river Indus was inhabited means people lived more than 5 million people lived there and then this Indus, Indus Valley civilization today in modern days, river Indus is there till date it is there the river Indus passes it originates from Himalayas it flows through India from Kashmir and then it passes through Pakistan and falls in Arabian Sea Indus Valley civilization in modern days it ranged it included parts of uh, Haryana, parts of Punjab, parts of Gujarat, parts of Rajasthan, parts of Northern Uttar Pradesh, parts of Pakistan and all these things, even parts of Afghanistan included in that and all this, all this area comprised, almost the plains of Indus plain, it comprised Indus Valley civilization. In the, during the period of 3300 BC before the birth of Christ to 1900 BCE, this civilization thrived and it was a lively town buzzing with people activities now we are leaving we are going to market we are coming and we are having our activities and all it was just a lively town that at that time so when the uh, historians discovered this this indus valley civilization they first when they did the excavation they just that's an interesting story behind the excavation of this Indus Valley civilization. During the British period, it so happened that a survey for the railway track 
for the railway route was going on. The engineers, they had come and they were just surveying. And it so happened that one of the engineers, he stumbled upon a brick. And he found that it was an unusual brick, not belong to, to not it was not belonging to the present time when they were surveying. Then after some days they happened to find similar bricks, numerous number of similar bricks. And they sent the brick to their higher authorities. And after verifying, they found that it dated back to millions of years back. And then the archaeologists, a team, this one you will read gradually in higher classes, you will be reading the, your starting chapters will be in this valley civilization, which you will read in detail. So the a team of archaeologists they came and they just happened to uh, dig it and excavate it and they found that a grand grand civilization existed and it was buried under the mud under the earth and it took a long period to excavate and they found that it was not single brick not a wall not a house but an entire town buried under the mud and the first town which they excavated was harappa that is why Indus Valley Civilization is also known as the Harappan Civilization. Another important town which they discovered, an important city or town which they discovered was Mohenjo-daro. Mohenjo-daro in Sindhi means Mound of the Dead. These both cities have got fame in the chapters of history which you will be reading up to class 10 and ahead also if you pursue your subject.